the Hopi, Native Americans, and the plan of the gods, the star gods, in the pyramids. The pyramids have many mysteries and secrets, many of which are hidden in the traditions of ancient peoples and cultures. These have been lost over time for many different reasons. Consequently, we're calling, we're called to find them as far as we can decipher them. And it's almost certain that the Egyptians did not build the pyramids. There are many theories on that issue, but no one can tell us for sure who built them, why they built them, when they were built and how they were built or why the pyramids in the complexes were arranged in a specific order in which they are placed. There are, however, some who know. Now, we know that pyramids, for example, in Egypt, in Giza of Egypt, in Mexico and in China have the same type of orientation. The Spider Woman and her helpers, the history of the creation of the Hopi Native Americans describes who built the pyramids. The old spider woman and her helpers, the ants, humans, the Hopi referred to the pyramids as large ant hills. It's said that she did this because the creator commanded her to place his plan on the earth for all to see. Beyond that, however, he had a very good reason and a clever plan. The reason the creator needed pyramids in Egypt, Mexico, and China was that the earth had a problem. The earth was thought to be out of balance when it, for, was, uh, when it first found uh, it moving in the solar system. After the spider woman built the pyramids, two twin ice caps formed on each pole and their weight stabilized the planet. So goes the Hopi explanation of, uh, from the legend. According to Hopi dating, uh, Hopi dating and counting, this is the fourth time the creator has returned to correct this recurring problem. This may be the reason why the pyramids were built at different times after the people were destroyed by fire, the second were destroyed by ice, the third destroyed by water, the great flood. So what was the creator's plan? The plan in the pyramid complex. The creator told the spider woman and his nephew that they would stay here on earth to begin the civilization. The creator wanted one civilization for himself and one for his nephew, and he would come back to correct the problem seven times, hoping that we would quote-unquote wake up and take care of our earth and its problems in the future. And we have the, uh, the creator's plan at the pyramid complex. We have the Giza pyramids. Uh, he said the creator had, uh, has three more to create, one for himself, the creator's pyramid, 455 feet tall, seven feet taller than the nephew's pyramid. And in the center, one for his nephew, centered, balanced, 448 feet tall. And the uh, smaller ones, the causeway pointing to equinox, the Earth's per perfect balance, and the three little ones next to it. Now, the largest pyramid was for the creator. The central pyramid was for the nephew. The pyramid that represents our place in the design today is placed at the equinox, the perfect balance where the day is divided into two equal parts, half dark and half light. This pyramid is smaller than the two larger pyramids. The three small satellite pyramids in front of the creator's pyramid could represent the next three worlds he must create. The three small satellite pyramids behind the pyramid that represents our current position in the design could stand for the three previous worlds destroyed by fire, ice, and water. When the annual Hopi ritual cycle is added to the band, then you see that we are between the fourth and fifth cycle, and we are going to move from this world to the next. It shows the path of the sun and the road to life. If this belief is correct, then there must be evidence that the small satellite pyramid have moved far in the past to the first, second, and third sections. The history of the Hopi creation does not tell us how the pyramids were built, but covers who, the spider woman and her helpers, the ants, the, way, the why to help stabilize the planet when it was out of balance, and when in the beginning, but also after the destruction of the earth by fire, ice, and the great flood. And this is what Thomas O. Mills, author of the Book of Truth, A New Perspective on the Hopi Creation Story, describes. 
For many, all this may not be satisfactory, but they could fill some gaps in the reason for the creation of the pyramids, even in the brilliant way that has reached our days. Possibly the core of the Hopi myth, in simple words, is that the pyramids were utilized and placed in specific parts of the planet in order to achieve a symmetrical distribution of the Earth's weight to ensure smooth motion during its rotation. Okay, well, what about all the skyscrapers that we have now in various cities around the world? I mean, what, how does that affect the weight of our planet? Now, this is uh, here says this is a well-known process that most of us know about as balancing on car tire rims, but also on cargo ships so that there is an even distribution so that the, sink, uh, the ship sinks in the water equally at the stern and bow as well as on the right and left sides. Now, whether this reasoning of balancing a planet, quote-unquote, could have a practical application or not is another story that could be confirmed or refuted by more experts. Let's remember the uh, huge uh, dam that has been recently built in uh, China, I forget the name of it, uh, has, uh, because of the weight of the water in that specific position of the planet, has uh, lessened the uh, rotation of the Earth day by a couple of split seconds. Now, uh, going back to this, whether this reasoning of balancing a planet could have a practical application or not is another story that could be confirmed or refuted by more experts. In any case, the reasoning of the uh, Hopi Indian, the uh, Native Americans, uh, concerning the gods from the skies show very specialized knowledge compared to the impression we have of them as primitive. Could it be, if it's true, that the Hopi have some relationship or kinship with the very ancient Greeks due to the many similarities? Could their aforementioned tradition be connected with our own mythology in the spider that was punished by the goddess Athena? According to the legend, a girl from Lydia called Spider, uh, Arachne, a famous weaver, inv invited the goddess Athena to a weaving competition also amazing in the same art. The spider boasted that she was better than the goddess Athena. Athena first appeared to the girl, transformed into an old woman, and advised her modesty. In the Hopi myth, there is a woman old spider. But the spider was not intimidated. It continued to growl until Athena appeared normally and weaved the daily life of the gods in the center, while all around the destruction of mortals when they did not obey the laws of the gods. In the myth of the Hopi, the panic of the people when the earth lost its balance, that is, disobeying the laws of nature, so the intervention of the pyramids was needed. The spider represented in its weave the extramarital affairs of the gods. When the contest ended, no matter how hard she searched, Athena found no, uh, no flaws in the spider's fabric. However, she was already so angry with her arrogance that she transformed her into a well-known spider to make her web again and again when the weather spoils, that is, uh, considering the Hopi myth, to make pyramids when she spoils the world over and over again or when the earth loses its balance. Who knows? There may be, not be any connection between the two mythological traditions. So uh, this I've uh, translated from a Greek article concerning the Hopi mythology legends concerning the pyramids and the weights uh, pu put on the earth to balance the planet. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.